Hey, so what I'm trying to <laughs> convey is that if I'm in a requisition here, and this is an example here, let's pull up track that they're using here. Let's go into requisition 40. Great, this is the one. So our client has selected a handful of different applicants here, right? And they're selecting, they choose to send an email and then they have a template. They have one, they have, you know, preloaded templates of course. And then they also have one in here that is listed as ad hoc so that they can just go ahead and enter their content in. So they're claiming that when they go ahead and, and click send, this isn't going out to all the recipients listed in here. And I checked every one of the applicants that are listed that they said should have received uh, the email, including, let's see here, is it Laura? Uh, Laura Beatty. So you can see here, no email history. If I select on the email template or the email icon rather, there's zero in the bucket right here. And if I just look at the actual correspondence, there's nothing to review. Um, if I look at the history tab, there is nothing listed in the correspondence history except for the auto response from when they apply to the job. So the question is, is that designed, is that intentional or intended behavior? So when you are mass mailing somebody, you can't just choose to select email templates from this perspective. So I can't select here all these people and maybe just deselect a couple and say, I want to send all of them a message. It seems like that should work and I don't know why it's not working or if it, maybe it's a bug. I know we have the ability to create mass mailing templates and also send them, but shouldn't I be able to just ad hoc grab a handful of candidates and then click send email as well as opposed to just create mass mailing. So I'm not sure if there's a bug in the system or whatnot, but the client was asking about it. So I need to follow up. Thanks a lot.